Um, welcome to today's webinar. Uh, it's going to be about our new My Devices Cayenne and AWS IoT integration. Um, my name's Jeff. Uh, I'm the customer engineering lead at Helium. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. Um, if you're unable to make this live webinar, um, it will be recorded and uploaded uh, to our YouTube channel, and there will be a link in our developer documentation. Uh, hey Moses, this is uh, this is the right room. Um, hopefully things will be all right now. Thanks for joining. So for today's webinar, uh, I'll be going over uh, some of the new console features and integration options that we've added. Um, and one of the goals here is to have introduced seamless integration with existing IoT platforms uh, to help users and developers get started. Uh, so if you had a chance to uh, attend the last webinar, uh, you'll be familiar with how uh, what uh, console is, our device configuration dashboard, um, and how to add a device to the Helium network. Um, and you may be wondering, you know, great, what I have a device on the network, what do I do next? And this webinar is really intended um, to kick off a series that will kind of detail what you can do with device data on the Helium network. And uh, to that end, um, we've added, uh, as I mentioned, the My Devices Kyan and AWS integration. Um, and I'll show you a quick demo on, on how, uh, how to use these integrations um, and use them to send data uh, on these platforms. And then afterwards, uh, I'll talk about uh, you know what what's coming up next, um, what features to expect, um, and give you a chance to uh, ask some questions. So I'm happy to announce that we've added uh, My Devices Cayenne integration. Uh, now a lot of you may be asking me what is My Devices and why is this important, and this really caters to uh, individuals who are really interested in developing. Um, on IoT platforms, but may not have the necessary uh, knowledge or experience uh, to build out a full-fledged solution. And, uh, and in that scenario, there are a lot of moving parts and it seems like a daunting task. Uh, but with My Devices Cayenne, um, we have uh, a really simp simple and easy to use dashboard um, that will give you a way to quickly design, prototype, and visualize data from your IoT devices on the network. Um, and there is also a mobile uh, interface as well, um, if, if you choose. Um, in addition, it has, uh, My Devices provides a large, large library of existing devices that are, um, that are compatible with Cayenne. Uh, now, if you have, a, if your device isn't listed um, and, it's, and the payload is customizable, um, you'll, you'll need to modify it to follow the Cayenne uh, LPP payload format, which is their uh, low power payload format um, that allows them to uh, support these device payloads. Uh, moving on, we have uh, AWS IoT core integration. And AWS is one of those things that really doesn't need much in integration. It's one of the premier cloud uh, service platforms um, that's very commonly used uh, for IoT. Uh, and by adding this AWS IoT core integration, uh, we now have the ability to easily migrate existing uh, applications uh, using our device management dashboard called console. Um, and a small subset of features uh, with this integration is that you are able to use downlink uh, via the AWS IoT MQTT client, and it provides uh, a secure platform with end-to-end uh, -end encryption. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I'll just step right into the demo um, and let me let me share um, my screen. So can everyone see uh, see this new web page? Um, this should uh, show um, the Helium console. Uh, great. So uh, one thing I do want to highlight is if you're wondering, um, you know, if you want like some more written information on how uh, to do things, um, I'd like to point you to developer.helium.com and this is where all our developer documentation is. Um, the two that are being highlighted today are these two specific integrations with uh, My Devices Cayenne and uh, AWS IoT Core. So if you haven't um, 
please register and create a console account. Um, again, it's it's a free platform. Um, it won't cost you anything uh, to try. Um, just log in, and then uh, you can see a list of organizations. Um, I have, and organizations, again, you can think of as the owner of um, the device data. So let me uh, jump into the one that I've created for the webinar. Uh, I have a couple of uh, devices already created here. Uh, if you attended last week's webinar, then you may recognize uh, the discovery board demo um, that I added last time. And this is a, a really useful development board um, that's, that's available for uh, multiple platforms. So let's jump into the integrations tab uh, on the left-hand side. And you'll notice uh, these two new ones. Uh, let's start with My Devices Cayenne. So from console, the console point of view, uh, all that's really needed is uh, to create this integration and um, tag it with an appropriate name. Uh, so for example, let me call my My Devices Cayenne. Uh, just create the integration. And let's jump into labels. Now, labels can be a way of managing and tagging tagging devices. Uh, it's a very flexible option. So for, for this demo, let's create a new label um, and call it Cayenne. And we'll, let's add it to, uh, add the new My Devices Cayenne integration that we just created. And then create a label. Uh, going back to our devices, um, I'll uh, so let me bring your attention to these two particular devices, uh, this Broan and uh, Oyster, and these are two off-the-shelf devices that are that we've vetted and tested, and we found uh, really great to use. Um, and with the power of labels, you can you can actually add uh, add these labels to um, multiple devices at once. So now you'll notice that I've added uh, the Cayenne uh, label to both these devices. So for example, let's jump into Broan GPS. It's a, it's a very neat little uh, location, uh, GPS location tag. Um, and for the My Devices Cayenne integration, uh, what you'll need to capture is this device EUI from this dashboard. And the next, uh, we'll go to Cayenne My Devices. You log in and uh, you'll see the dashboard. So what we wanna do is add a new device or widget. Now from this page, there, there's a lot of options here, um, but the one that you wanna do is under LoRa. And, and this is a list of all, all the networks that are available to my devices, but the relevant one that we want is Helium. So once you have Helium, you'll, you'll see a list of all the devices that are supported uh, natively by my devices, Cayenne. And you'll notice that it's, the list is, is quite extensive. Um, so if, if you see, there's a, there's a Broan object locator, uh, which is a device I mentioned earlier, um, that's actually a, a recent addition. Uh, and there, here's the Digital Matter Oyster that I mentioned before as well. So now we have the device EUI uh, from um, console. We just need to add a new, uh, new device, the one that you want. And uh, it's a Broan object locator. Um, what you need to do is paste the device EUI. Uh, that you copy and paste, uh, that you grab from console. Uh, and we've already added it to, registered it and joined it on the network. So already registered. Um, to make things simpler, I, I, I like specifying uh, the last, uh, a couple of digits of the device CUI uh, in the name. That's it, all you do is then add the device. And uh, once it starts transmitting, uh, you'll see this dashboard populate. Uh, but uh, to save us some time, uh, I have a couple of other devices that I've added before. Um, for example, here's an Oyster. And you can, 
if you take a look, this, uh, this dashboard is all pre-built and pre-configured from my device's Cayenne. Um, and it saves you a lot of development time on having to build out this visualization uh, yourself. Um, so you'll notice uh, it, provide, it can provide um, GPS location, uh, temperature, battery, uh, amongst other features. This is a really neat tool uh, that, that saves you some development time, especially if you don't have the experience or knowledge to do so. And that's really it for uh, adding, adding a device to uh, Cayenne My Devices uh, using the Helium console. Um, and next, I'll move on to um, AWS management. So going back to console, uh, you return, let's return to the integration section. And here's uh, AWS IoT uh, core. And you'll notice that it'll ask for a couple of, a uh, couple of fields, access key, secret key, region, and topic. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into the AWS management console. And if you'll notice, if you look in services, there's a whole, a, a giant list of services. Uh, I think, I think vast would be an understatement. Um, but the one that we care about is under identity access management, IAM here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a new user. And you're gonna to wanna to grant it programmatic access. And this gives you um, easily accessible endpoints uh, for you to connect um, from console. And the next thing you wanna do is under permissions, uh, you're gonna to wanna to attach a pre-existing policy And the one that we, we care about is AWS IoT config access. Uh, and you can, you can tag it with some key value pairs uh, as well. Now, after you create the user, uh, it'll generate the access key and the secret, uh, the, uh, the shared secret, uh, the secret key. And you wanna make sure that you record or save this somehow because uh, this will be the only time that it will be made visible to you. Um, and uh, you can rotate keys and whatnot, but um, if you don't have access to this, if you don't have it stored somehow, um, it, it will be lost to you uh, from this page. So to save some time, I already set one up, but uh, what you wanna do is you take that access key and secret key and you paste those um, under, under your AWS IoT core integration. And from there, uh, you'll head back to services and we'll take a look at AWS IoT core. And you'll, and this is uh, how we connect devices into uh, AWS IoT core. Um, there's a lot of features that may be out of scope from this webinar. Um, but for all connected devices, um, you'll notice that they will automatically add it to your list of things. Um, and it also gives you an option uh, to, um, there, it has an MQTT client for you to subscribe and uh, publish messages to. And really, really, that's it. Um, you may be thinking that it's, it's, it's really simple, you know, barely an inconvenience to, to add these type of integrations. And that's, uh, that's really our intention um, with, with introducing these, uh, these new integration options. So next, I want to give you an, a preview of what's coming next, uh, thing, new features that we built. Um, and there, there are a lot of features that, honestly, I can't, I can't fit into this, this slide here. Um, but um, we are working on a lot of things, and hopefully they will be exciting to you as well. 
Uh, for example, we have a console uh, command line interface. And that the intention for that is uh, if you want to do fleet management or mass provisioning of devices, um, and it's not as feasible to, to manually onboard a device uh, one by one um, in console. So the console COI gives you API uh, access to API endpoints. And it, from there, it will be trivial to script uh, mass device uh, onboarding. And a part of that will also be for existing the Things Network users uh, will give you an easy way to migrate those devices over to the Helium network. Um, in addition, we want to start building out these workshops um, that will showcase more of uh, like end-to-end -end demos on how to build applications uh, using something like IWS, uh, AWS IoT or et cetera. And we're also introducing what we call developer kits. Um, and it'll be uh, development boards for, um, for you to get started on prototyping. And uh, we're also building out um, a catalog of LoRaWAN device, uh, devices that we've tested and, and, and uh, approved. Uh, so this next part, um, unfortunately, I, I don't have slides for. Uh, I do apologize. Um, but for IoT Day, we are running a hotspot promotion. Um, and actually, let me copy and paste the details into chat um, for, for you to use. So uh, there is a code for $25 off of hotspots for IoT Day. Um, and 10% of uh, these sales will be donated um, to help support uh, COVID-19 uh, relief efforts. Um, and then the next thing is, uh, before we kick off the device uh, developer kit, um, we, we want to get a better idea of, of um, what, what these will be used for. And as part of that, um, we'll be giving away a, a couple of free uh, developer kits. And uh, I will actually now drop in a link uh, to the form um, which, where you can fill out and um, submit, your, submit an application to be eligible for um, a free developer kit. And then finally, the last thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start a poll. And what this poll is, is to get a better idea of uh, what kind of platforms um, you all are using. Um, what, and this will help us prioritize uh, what features to focus on next um, and which ones, uh, which platforms are, are uh, are, are being used. Um, AWS IoT and my devices are um, the common one, the two common ones that we've focused on. Um, and here is a list of community resources um, in, in case you don't know where to find things. Um, console is our configuration dash device uh, dashboard. Um, our Developer documentation is uh, is listed there. Our we have an open source GitHub repo. Uh, if you want to take a look at our our code, um, there is an engineering blog uh, that will give you um, a list of updates um, as they are being rolled out. Uh, I'll I'll leave this page up um, in case anyone wants to record. These slides will be available as well. 